Hello again, I'm just going to do a quick video of the poncho that I used in my last video in the Lake District. The poncho is made by a company called Miltech. When it's fully extended out it is 84 inches long by 46 inches wide and it comes in at around 640 grams packaged up like this. The poncho is made of 100% ripstop nylon. It's not the most lightweight poncho you can get but it is very durable. So it comes with these eyelets so you can use it as a tarp or shelter. I can vouch that it is 100% waterproof. I used it as a lean-to shelter in the rain over the weekend. I'll now open the pack and show you it being used as a poncho. So the poncho comes with a hood. Which has a drawstring fastening. So you can get it nice and tight if you want it. It also has press studs which you can snap together to fasten it along the sides. The press studs just snap together like so. They also pull apart very easily for when you want to use the poncho as a shelter. I haven't brought my rucksack with me but the poncho is large enough to fit a rucksack underneath as well which is very useful so it keeps you packed dry, keeps you dry. The ripstop material isn't very breathable though so you're likely to sweat if you're wearing this for long periods of time or doing strenuous exercise. Now I'll string a ridge line between a couple of trees and I'll show you how it sets up as a shelter. I've already got the ridge line set up with a couple of prussic knots. This makes attaching the, the poncho to the ridge line much easier. All I need to do is tie a quick loop. I make it quick release, like so. Then it's the same on this side. Just a slippery half hitch, and then I can slide the prussic knot along to add tension. The poncho already comes with some string attachments, however I always bring some paracord that's a little bit longer so I can have my tarp set higher off the ground. I do this in all four corners and string out the poncho. Now I'll just tidy things up a little bit.
All we need to do now to make it completely waterproof is to tie up the hood. So I'll tie the hood up. And then I'll throw it the other way so it's facing downwards and all the water will run off. I'll show you around. Obviously if it was raining I'd set the shelter up a little bit lower. This would give me much more protection from the elements. I'll show you the snaps a little bit closer. You can see the ripstop finish of the material. There's the eyelets, there's one on each corner. And there's one on the centre on each side. That's what the hood looks like. I've just tied it off. It's all face down so any water would just run off the end. So this is me under the shelter. Obviously it's not massive. It's not something that you can fit your family under for the night but it will get you out of the pickle if you really needed to get out of the rain. You could set it out in many different configurations and maybe I'll show you some of those in another video. But it's perfect if you get caught in a downpour in the woods and you just want to hide away for, for a short while. Or if you really need it in an emergency you could set it closer, closer to the ground in more of a bivvy configuration. So that's just a quick review of my military poncho. It's made by a company called Miltech. I'll leave a link in the description below. Early impressions are I'm really happy with it. Fully waterproof. Okay, it weighs a little bit more than some of the lightweight ponchos you can get, but it looks really durable. And it makes a perfect backup shelter when you're out in the woods or you're using a bivvy bag. Thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.